yeah, so we finished the job and it took about two hours to paint this hallway. And this sort of entrance room, which when you think about it is just a real waste of space. Clean up here, bedroom. Uh, repainted everything, painted over the old paint job. The only hard part was that the painting white on white, we, I couldn't really see exactly where I was painting and also that the lights were switched off and I had to use daylight so there was no internal light. So I couldn't really tell where I had painted or not painted. Otherwise I think it came out pretty well. Very solid and the sound of the machine is quite good, quite reasonable. There's nothing um, too tricky about it but I think a couple of times it might have gotten uh, clogged or blocked and you can turn the nozzle and spray it for a second and it will unclog and otherwise I think that the thinning the paint does help. So at the beginning we just stuck the hose straight into the bucket and after about I don't know 20 minutes there was a point where it sort of started to sound like a vacuum and it just went whirr and stayed on. Uh, and then so when I checked it, turned it off and tried to check everything, it looked a lot like um, the, the paint, if it's a bit thinner and then you mix it with the uh, drill so that it's very uh, consistent, uh, then after that the paint job went on very, very well. Uh, it was a little tricky here uh, in the hallway because with the lance on the end, you could kind of see with a, with a 40 centimeter lance, you're very close to the wall. And so it's a little bit too close, but then only using it without the lance would have been difficult to reach any of these parts that are high up here. And this is really where the lance came into its own. You could really paint above your head. Uh, and I had no problems painting all of these nooks and crannies. There was a bit more overspray than I expected, but I think that's because I'm just learning how to use the, the device. Painting, I mean, uh, getting rid of the overspray is not too difficult. But next time I would cover the whole surface, so I don't even have to think about the overspray. Yeah, it's very consistent and it covered up a lot of cracks and holes and uh, it came out pretty good. This is outdoor paint, whatever that means. But yeah, it's outdoor paint. Uh, and it smelled different to the normal indoor stuff. The indoor stuff had two stars, so I think the indoor paint probably wasn't very good. Uh, or very thin and this outdoor paint seemed to have more body to it or at least maybe more uh, titanium dark side so that it was whiter uh, of course you could probably see some marks under here from paint uh, or from the pee from the cats uh, in the end we'll put a rubber mat over the top of this Ooh. would you yeah. recommend the machine yes um, we did spend a lot of money on it we spent more than double the amount we had on the first uh, what was it called? Euro? Aeromax. <laughs> Aeromax 4000. Uh, I was very disappointed with the Aeromax 4000. <sighs> very disappointed. It was the worst time I ever had painting ever in my whole life. Uh, and it took two or two and a half days to paint one room. It was just stupid. I mean, it was really stupid and it was on too thick and it was running. Oh, it was a real nightmare. Uh, after that, using the Wagner and paying good money for the Wagner, uh, almost 500 bucks. Uh, it's a professional machine and we're going to keep using it. And we're going to take it with us to Ireland and we're going to be using it on our other house over there because this is the kind of machine I think we're going to be able to use for quite a few years to come. Right, Pops? All right. I recommend it. All right. <laughs>